I'm Wouter from Comb Electronic from Berlin. We're here at NAMM 2017, uh, last day, finally. Here's the field kit. It has landed. It's got grass. And it, yeah, we brought a little Berlin grass, so it feels, uh, so it feels right at home, you know. Uh, so our latest machine, we're super happy to be able to uh, to show it. It's a, it's a little box for electroacoustic experimentation. So you can play around like David Tador and John Cage and all all those other guys that uh, didn't need a keyboard. They only needed their hands and some objects, you know. There's a little mixer and a bunch of utility uh, that helps you to uh, to create exciting sounds, like a DC interface over here that can run little motors, DC motors, solenoids, lights, all types of stuff. There's a little CV radio on there that does FM, AM, shortwave radio, and you can search with CV signals. There's an LFO, so you have some extra control over all the features. An envelope follower, so you can use beats or rhythms or awesome synth patches and create them into control voltages so you can use them in your music as well. Over here there's the signal interface where you can plug in sensors and switches and transfer those into uh, trigger signals and CV signals. It's a, it's, it's a box that just, uh, you know, it's a box that super excites me uh, because uh, you can use it for installations, you can use it to make instant crowd rock, uh, you can use it to uh, you know, make nice ambient landscapes. Uh, we have it finished now for a few months and uh, been playing around with it so much, it's amazing. It's so much fun. What, uh, do, you, what do you have set up here? It's, uh, it's, the whole coma, it's the whole coma setup that we're using. Um, we use the field kit with some small elements like a music box, a guitar pick, some contact microphones, a little pickup over there, just to get some natural sounds going. Then over here we have uh, our complex sequencer that we launched here at NAMM in 2015 and that is currently on its third firmware uh, version and soon we're going to release another one in which we will also add some extra features uh, for already uh, like, you know, quite a feature packed machine but we can always do better, you know. Uh, over here we have the new Coma cases that will come out very soon. Uh, we have a little... Oh, we have a little shop in Berlin uh, where we uh, uh, called Common Ground, where we have DIY modules and where people can build their own devices. And a lot of people asked us, like, "Hey, I built all these modules now. I want to. I have nothing to put it in." So we made these cases uh, that will soon also be uh, available uh, for 99 bucks. Very simple, uh, very uh, yeah, lightweight. Also, it's like this doesn't take any effort. <laughs> And of course, it has the nice coma wood on the side. Over here, we have the new coma uh, power supplies that come with the cases. Uh, you can have them in two different versions. One is the uh, uh, module version, um, with which you can power two to three rows easily. Um, I believe it does uh, 1.5 on the plus rails and one on the minus. Um, amps we're talking about here. Uh, Okay, the power module exists out of uh, two different uh, uh, modules. Over here is the base module that has three LEDs on it. And they show you uh, how much power you have left on your rail. So, if they go orange, you know, you're still good for a little bit. If they go to red, you know. Yeah, like, I, like Christian said yesterday, your addiction has, uh, you know, grown has grown like to the limits of your power supply and you know you might want to change some things around. Uh, this is the master module and this is the slave module so you use one uh, adapter and you can plug in two cases. This is still the last prototypes but we will have them out uh, within I would say eight weeks from now. Then we also we also have the uh, uh, OEM power supply like we call it. And this is a power supply for whoever makes a case themselves and would like to have uh, you know, a, a very good power supply in there to uh, power their modules. You can uh, have them also with the modules so you can uh, mount them in a rack and connect everything to this main board over here. 
Um, we also will make uh, uh, bus boards for it, or you can use through these two outputs here flying bus boards as well. It has the same system with the LEDs that shows you uh, how much uh, current you have left. Um, well, you know, and it's a, it's a nice little system to get going, uh, also for the people in the shop and whoever wants to build a case. Uh, the power is right there. Uh, the power stuff we will try to ship for around 120 bucks. Uh, we're still looking at pricing at the moment, but uh, we try to make it as affordable as possible because we think actually this stuff is usually too expensive. Uh, and uh, we can do better for less. Let us prove it to you. <laughs> All right. Let's crank it up. Exactly. Here's my colleague Otto. Yo. He is the designer Everybody. of the field kit. One of, you know, from Finland, and he will play around a bit with uh, with the tools uh, that we have over here on the table. Do you want to join me or? Yeah, we can we can twist some knobs Maybe together. You can twist the field kit a bit. If I'll you want twist. To. I'll do a little bit of uh, cool. casual twisting. Yeah.